What's up everyone? We've got the Char Hammer here and we're back on the beach for a little bit of surf fishing. So fishing a new spot I've never fished before. I'm down in Dune City. Uh, my family reunion is going on this week in Florence. That's why I haven't seen me post anything in a while. This is the first day I've actually gone out to do some fishing. But using the same basic rig and setup I did in the last surf fishing video. Not gonna spend a lot of time out here. You know, not as much as last time where I walked like four miles one way down the beach just to catch one fish. If, I'm, if I don't catch a fish in an hour, I'm gonna call it, but I'll still film the whole thing, still give you guys some tips along the way, and hopefully we can catch some delicious surf fish, fish tacos tonight. So there are people fishing on the beach already. Usually a good sign. Yeah, I see a lot of dead sand crabs on the ground too. Also a good sign. So I'm pretty much starting to fish right now. It's 11 o'clock. It is slack tide. Uh, more often than not, that seems to be better time to get out here and fish and I picked the spot because there's a sandbar out there in front of me and I kind of want to let it hang out right in between the sandbar and the beach okay that didn't take long Wow, I think I picked a good spot. Not a very big surf perch, no, that's a baby. Oh my god! Oh my god, that's a cabezon! I've never caught a cabezon before. Now, I actually don't know if these guys are poisonous, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this guy off with my pliers. There we go. All right, first cast, catch a fish I've never caught before. It didn't feel very big, but that does tell me there's fish here. If I catch another one, I'm going to move to a different spot because I want surf perch. Well, guys, I'm seriously hoping that's not my, <laughs> that's not the first catch, first cast catch a fish jinx. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, seagull wants it. That's another cabezon. Man, these guys are these guys are funky looking. Well, guess I'm moving to a different spot. Well, this spot here slopes down pretty well, and I see that sandbar goes out that way so I'm gonna try this spot right here I tell you guys what how surf fishing has been for me in general really does help the confidence catching two fish right off the bat like that so one thing I'm doing differently with this one versus the last time I went fishing is I'm using the same color uh, gulp sandworms but I'm using a six inch worm that I cut in half to make two three inch worms and I got one of them that's pretty thicker than the other one. The other one really tapers off to a point on the tail. Hoping that the bigger worm will draw a bigger fish. Those of you not in Oregon, you don't know how hot it's been the last, this last week. I think yesterday it was up to 110 in the valley where I live. On the coast right now. You know, not wearing waders, standing in the ocean. Oh man, this feels, this feels like a relief. This feels great something playing with it out there you know like I said in my last video about surf fishing uh, to tell the difference between the the waves moving your line the tide going out moving your line and an actual fish bite is the fish are pretty vicious when they bite your lure they're biting it thinking it's food they're wanting to feed on it so when they bite I mean it's like it's like that when you feel for a bite if you feel like your rod just kind of slowly loads up like that usually that's just the waves Okay, so you see how my rod is kind of bobbing and I feel it sort of loading up over and over again? That's wave activity. So, I feel that. I'm not trying to set the hook on that. Okay, see right now the, the, uh, the tide, the bottom wave, is going out and it's pushing my weight back out to sea. So I feel it bumping along the bottom and getting dragged. 
When you do that, what you kind of want to do is reel in a little bit, lift your rod up. That way you just get your weight out of the sand so it's not buried. So when you go to set the hook, you don't have something resisting against you to uh, have you crack the whip on your line. That's how you, that's how you can lose a rig and lose a fish real easily. So surf fishing is also a really good situation to use high visibility line as your main line. I'm really experienced with this line so I can see where it enters the water, but in situations like you guys just saw with a wave coming in, you saw me kind of raise my rod up like that. That's how you keep tension on your line and you don't allow the wave to move your line when it comes over it. And with that high visibility line, you can see where your line enters the water and know when to raise your rod tip up to keep that from happening. Oh. It's been about 10 minutes here to try a new spot. Hey, you guys remember last video I did? This is a lot of surf fishing. Hi ho, hi ho, it's down the beach I go, cause I can't seem to catch a fish. Hi ho, hi ho, green foam. <laughs> Should I be worried? <laughs> nice little hole. Let's see what it yields. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that feels great. All right, that was a good cast. Spot looks good right now. This looks promising. That's a fish. Doesn't feel big. Ah, oh, came off, damn it. Ugh. All right, there's something over there. There's fish over there. That was my fault. I think I set the hook a little too late. And I'll say this every time I go surf fishing, every time I go ocean fishing in general, number one rule, biggest safety tip, do not turn your back on this thing. I've been hit by sneaker waves. They aren't fun. If you've got to walk out of the ocean, walk out facing the ocean. Yeah, there's, oh, there's fish out there. There's a lot. They're biting it like crazy. Come on. That's a fish. Feels like it's still on. Yep, it's still on. That looks like a... Uh, is that a perch? Is that another cabezon? No, nope, that is a perch. That's a baby one. All right, we're getting we're getting warmer, guys. Baby surf perch. All right, that's a baby silver perch. So we're gonna send that one back. All right. So like I've said, pan fishing. Which, by the way, surf perch is pan fishing. So many times, all you have to do is catch one fish and you turn the entire school onto the bite. And if you find one, there's going to be more. That's a baby. And I'm surprised that baby was able to take a, take a worm that big. So we'll stick close to the spot. Yeah, guys, this is the hardest part of surf fishing, is finding the fish. So when you find even one, that's a great sign. Don't go too far from the school, try to follow the school. And just lay into them. There we go. Another baby. Yep, 
Yep, another baby. Is that a silver? Yep, that's a. No, that's a. Is that a red tail? It's so small, I can't tell. And yeah, another little. I don't think that's a silver. Little baby one. Get bigger. Tell me where your parents are. Come on! Fish tacos! So, what I did on that last fish, I knew I had a fish on, and I could feel it was hooked. I left it out there because sometimes if you have one fish on the line and you just leave it sit out there, you'll, you have a really good chance of hooking another one. You know, I think I'm actually going to get closer to the river. So the Slick Coos River is right there. I think I'm going to head more toward the mouth. Oh, no, I just kicked water all up my back. Oh well, the sun's going to be at my back for another <laughs> hour and a half, so it'll dry me off. Alright, so so far I've gone about a half mile down river. River? <laughs> Tell her I've been fishing a lot, rivers. So far I've gone about a half mile down the beach. So I'm going to set up shop here. Looks like when the tide was in, this was a, this was a big sandbar. So... Right on the other side of it should be deeper. Let's see what's out there. Let's see if I've reached the adults. That's fish. That's fish. That's another baby. Where's your parents? <laughs> Do you need an adult? Yeah, another baby silver. Another fish. Yeah, and doesn't feel very big. Yeah, another baby. All the fish are getting slightly bigger every time. Yeah, another baby silver. <laughs> Where's your parents? <laughs> Jeez. You know, this is already the most surf perch I've ever caught in one trip, but I can't take any of these home. You know, I can't really say I've had this much trouble catching the adults, because I've had plenty of trips where I haven't caught anything, but I've never had this much trouble only catching babies and not catching adults. That's my fault. Missed that strike. Oh. Good shell for the wife. She's obsessed with seashells. Hey guys, when you're doing this much walking up and down the beach, know your limits. Know how far you could go. Know how much water you have. Know your tolerance. My tolerance is pretty high. I'm sort of a, uh, on the side, I'm sort of a survival enthusiast. And uh, last year, Actually, around this time last year, one of the surf fishing trips I took, I uh, walked too far down the beach and drank all my water before I even started heading back. And it was over 90 degrees that day. I think right now it's like 70 something here. But that day it was over 90 degrees where I was fishing. And by the time I got to the hill I was supposed to go over to go back to the vehicles I was so dehydrated that I was getting delirious and I went too far down the down the shore and went up another hill that was a quarter mile in the wrong direction and by the time I got to that point I took all my 
I took my waders off. I took all my gear off because I was sweating so much. There was probably 10 pounds of sweat in my waders. And sat there on bench for a minute, started walking back. And, you know, hot pavement with no shoes on and it being hot, me being dehydrated. I got so dehydrated, I started hallucinating. I started hearing voices. And that not only scared me, but really made me mad because that's the first time I've ever gotten that far dehydrated to where it was, it was dangerous. So definitely, you know, like I said at the start of this tip, know your limits, know how far you can go, know how much water you have. Like I've been out here for two hours, and I still have a quarter of my water. And I'm actually heading back toward my vehicle. I'm not done fishing. I'm just gonna go back to uh, one of the areas that I fished earlier, see if the school started there. But yeah, don't get dehydrated when you go surf fishing. It's a lot easier than you think it'd be. Yep, I think that's fish. Feels like a fish. And it's another cabezon. Oh, okay. I was confused all this time. These aren't cabezon, these are baby cod. These guys got some nasty teeth, so I'm not gonna, still not gonna lip hook it. Yeah, baby cod. How about that? <laughs> well, for me, this is almost as fun as catching surf perch. I'm still having fun. Just not catching what I wanted to catch. Now I'm gonna have fish tacos. Say, Holy cow! Hang on, I might have spoke too soon. That feels like a bigger fish. No, nope. it's another cod. Yeah, he choked that one down. Well, I'm getting bigger and bigger cod over here. So, yeah, let's see if I can find a bigger one. See if I can find an adult cod. Or another one. Yeah, a lot of baby cod over here. I am okay with catching these little baby cod. I'm much rather catch the adults, but these guys are cute. Wonder where the adults are. All catching all baby fish today. Baby silver perch, baby cod. Can't make fish tacos off those. I don't want to eat the babies. I'm starting to wonder, there's all these baby cod in this area. What are they feeding on? I mean, there's a lot of crustaceans, but, you know, I've always known cod to be more of a predatory fish, eat other fish. They're not big enough to eat the surf perch unless it's like the super small juveniles. <laughs> They're not very far out. Yeah, I wonder what's going on now, because I'm getting a ton of bites, but I'm missing the fish. Got him that time. Well, hey, there's a perch. Where have you guys been? There we go, another perch. Well, I guess I'll give this spot another few casts. I was about ready to pack it up. No. Oh. <laughs> he likes me. 
He's swimming around my foot. Well guys, that's it for surf fishing. Didn't catch anything worth taking home and eating, but you know, still had fun. Catch a, caught a few baby perch. Caught some uh, baby cod. Didn't really expect that, but you know, still had fun. Hope you guys had fun watching too. Leave any questions or observations you guys have in the comments below. Uh, let me know what you guys thought. Be happy to answer all your questions. If you're a new viewer, please consider subscribing. Also, please like this video. And as always, tips up, tight lines. Have fun fishing. Thanks for watching.